I'm Austin. And I'm Shelby with your WTGR News. It's Friday, December 4th, and here are your daily announcements. Attention students, there will be an ACT workshop on Thursday, December 10th and 11th. Students will be asked to sign up in the guidance office for the workshop, and there is a $5 cost fee. Students should be in at least English 2 Honors or English 3 and at least in Algebra 2 or Algebra 2 Honors to sign up. Step by Step is a community service project for the homeless at Conway High School is participating in. The project's goal is to collect the most needed items of clothing for the homeless. Those items include hats, gloves, and socks. Seems like simple items to us, but to people who are homeless, these clothing items have a huge impact. Please bring all of your gently worn hats, gloves, and socks to your fourth block class for collection. The driver will run until December 17th. A celebration is planned on December 18th for the fourth block class that collects the most items. For more about Step by Step, here is Daya Pereira to give you an insight on what it's all about. I'm here with Daya, and she's going to tell us a little bit about Step by Step. And would you tell us a little bit about it? Okay, Step by Step is an organization where we donate socks, hats, scarves, and gloves to the homeless. It basically is more of socks because there's a disease called boot rot that actually makes the flesh on your foot rot away and it can eventually kill you. So that's what the main goal is to try to prevent boot rot in homeless people. What made you want to take on this project? Like where did you get the idea to start it? Um, basically a couple of weeks ago in October, um, Ms. Marcon and Ms. Smith took a couple of students to a conference in Columbia to hear a speaker and he basically talked about how he had an organization that, you know, helped homeless people and he told us about boot rot and I was just thinking that maybe it's not a bad idea to bring it back home and try to make it something else here. How do people give, like how can you donate like where to go and that type Well, of thing. there's supposed to be a competition with all four block teachers. It started on Tuesday. If you bring in the socks, hats, scarves, and gloves, um, the winning class, fourth block class, wins a pizza party for bringing in the most items. Um, and I know some of the, many seniors don't have a fourth block, so how can they bring in items to like, participate? Like, where would we take those? There's boxes in the front office, and there's box there's a box in the library. Okay. And how will these items get to those who need them? I was sure. The, we're thinking of maybe taking a field trip the day before Christmas Eve to go to Street Reach and hand out these items. Where is Street Reach? Down in Myrtle Beach. They have several different homeless shelters. Some for battered women and children and some for just homeless people and all. That was very, that was very nice of you to come up with this idea because I know it will help many people and kids. But it was a pleasure. And thank you for talking to us there. You're welcome. Well, that's all I have for announcements today at Conway High School. And now to Cortland Winter Sports News Report. On December 5th, Saturday, wrestling will be away at West Brunswick Duels at 9 o'clock a.m. And the boys and girls JV basketball teams will be playing home, taking on Myrtle Beach at 3 o'clock. And then the boys and girls varsity basketball teams will be at home playing Myrtle Beach at 6 o'clock. Thanks, Cortland, for the sports news report. Now it's time for important information to know concerning our clubs and organizations. Fellowship of Christian Athletes, or FCA, will meet every Wednesday morning at 7.45 a.m. in the chor choral room. Everyone is welcome. Saturday school will be meeting December 5th, December 12th, and December 19th. Students must sign up in attendance office before they can come. That's all for our news today, Colin High. We're going to end the show with a feature that we believe is everyone's favorite, Dancing for Donuts. <laughs> 